Now that you have Avatar Creator installed, let's take a walkthrough of its interface in Final Cut Pro. Create a new project, find Unami software within the Final Cut generators, and then drag Avatar Creator to your timeline. Before we continue, we need to configure Final Cut Pro for the best experience while using Avatar Creator. Open the Final Cut Pro Preferences, select the Playback tab, and uncheck Background Render. Unfortunately, because of the way Final Cut and Avatar Creator were engineered, background rendering causes poor performance, so workflows operate best when leveraging explicit rendering. With the newly created clip on the timeline selected, go to the Plugin Properties panel and click on Load Avatar Creator. This will bring up the Avatar Creator interface, and once again I'm going to resize it so it's a little bit more appropriate for our screen and I'm going to create a new character and I'll just give him a simple name. So right away the first thing you'll see is that we have a few different panes around here. In the middle here you see what we will call the viewport. This is our tools, this is our timeline, this is the project assets, and these are the animations for adding a quick animation to the character. In the viewport, if you use your left mouse button, you can orbit the camera around what you have currently targeted. If you use left click, you can pan the camera around, and finally if you scroll with your middle mouse button, you can scroll in and out and dolly the camera in and out. Also in the viewport we have the manipulation tools. Here we have the move tool to be able to move the character around, the rotate tool to rotate the character, and finally the scale tool to scale the character up and down. Over here we have the tools to dress and customize your character. So under body you have things like skin tone, eye color, hairstyle and hair color, and along with facial hair. So let's just quickly give him some hair over here and a uh, fun mustache of a, I believe that's a Fu Manchu. Finally, let's uh, close up his body and give him a little bit of clothing. Let's give him some shoes so he doesn't hurt his feet walking on the bare ground. Give him some pants. He uh, might want to uh, not go out in public with this. Uh, let's give him something a little looser than those tight pants. There, now he's a 70s dancer. Finally, he needs something to wear on his upper body. All right, so once we have him dressed, we can go over to this animation selector and give him something to do. Uh, let's make him dance, and we'll choose the robot hip-hop dance. That's a pretty fun dance. So, once we've clicked that, you'll notice that down here in the timeline, it's listed a new animation. We can move the playhead around and watch the animation playback live. We can also put the uh, playhead to the beginning and hit the play button to watch the animation play in real time. Once we are happy with this, we can go ahead stop the animation and click this check mark here to send this back to the host app. Now that we are back in the host app Final Cut Pro, you can see that the animation has been sent back and is now rendering in Final Cut's canvas from the viewpoint of the camera with an avatar creator. Let's go to the plugin properties. First, this is the scene selection. This allows you to select from different avatars or scenes you've created in avatar creator. Right now we've only created Bob but as you create additional content, it will show here for you to select. Next, we have the ability to toggle render caching and, additionally, the ability to reset the render cache. Render caching has the ability to speed up rendering by retaining frames that have already been rendered, but it can also cause some render glitches occasionally. When this happens, you can click Clear Frame Cache to zap the cache once, or you can turn it on and off altogether with the check mark. Finally, you are able to monitor the render server with its status and view the plugin version. Once you are ready to purchase the full version and remove the watermark, you can click the Purchase Full Version button to go buy Avatar Creator.